this is much more about augmenting and producing part of that power ourselves. Also part of this is a thought that power will cost more to tomorrow than it does today and these will probably have more a better payback as we go along the line and this distributed energy production has has value uh, but we're still going to need those those fixed uh, fossil fuel plants for for quite some period of time I just think we we're in need all the above this is our little little bit that that we can do that works on our farm on a small scale it's fairly low maintenance um, We've had them about a year and a half and really had no issues with them as of yet. Um, uh, compared to maybe small wind generation, um, where you'd have more maintenance, um, most of the wind generation is too big to use on a small operation like this. Um, where the solar panels, you can kind of mix and match and uh, get your sizing quite appropriate. When we make these type of moves to to renewable right now, the biggest challenge is it has to pay its way. This is, this is a move to augment part of our largest cost on running this um, outside of debt service. Energy is the largest cost that we have on, on a livestock operation by far. We can't spend money on something that will never show a return. It doesn't make common sense. Yeah. The zero carbon footprint is, is, is hypothetical to the tune of possibly decades unless you have a huge technology leap. And then that also says that everything that we've got huge investments in is suddenly unusable. Billions, not, not on our farm, but across agriculture, the billions of dollars of investments. I mean, anything that we have that's electric mm -hmm. can, of course, be changed to a different, but anything that we have that runs off of a fuel source, natural gas, propane, um, diesel, gasoline, um, those suddenly are obsolete in that scenario.